fighters are expected to take fights even with energy. You lost your title shot. Sorry for that uh, really bad Eugene Behrman impression, but uh, he keeps kind of biting him in the ass right now because uh, another one of his fighters has had to pull out a fight after he shit on Drickus Two Plessis. And I my group made a video on that, and it was very funny. But, uh, yeah, right after I make a video talking about the this card that's coming up next week, uh, Dan Hooker pulls out of the fight. And I was kind of worried because I'm like, oh, shit, who are they going to give him? Uh, who are they going to get Bobby Green to fight because Dan Hooker breaks his arm, which I I thought he had broken his arm from the Jolly Turner fight. But I guess maybe he, it wasn't as bad as they thought. And then it, like, re-injured or something. I don't really know. But there were some names that were getting thrown around. I remember I saw uh, Rafael Dos Anjos was talking about accepting a fight, which I was like, sure, that would be fun. Two veterans of the game, one a former lightweight champion, former uh, welterweight interim uh, title challenger. I I was all for it. But uh, that didn't happen. Then people were saying uh, Benoit St. Denis because he like recently fought, and he's now in the top 15. So I was like, yeah, that fight as well, either of those fights. I don't know how, I didn't really think about, oh, who everyone would, like, the order of people I would think that would uh, step in, just because there's a lot of fighters. I don't, I think Jolene Turner was near the bottom of that list, not because I didn't think uh, he didn't, he wasn't uh, brave enough to accept the fight or anything, but weight-wise, because, as we know, this guy is a huge weight bully, and I just look at him, he's like 6'3", he's like 6'2", 6'3", he cuts crazy amount of weight to get to 155 and he missed weight in his last fight. He's missed weight like twice, I believe on full camps. How is he going to make that weight in a freaking one week, like a week and a couple days, because that's already hard to do in general for most people for Jolly Turner, who has missed weight on full camps. And I don't know. And the fight's labeled as it's going to be a lightweight. It's not like when Bobby green accepted uh, the fight with Islam, where it was made a catch weight. This fight is labeled as a lightweight, and I don't know if that's going to get changed or not, but even if they do a catchweight, I'd still worry about that because, I mean, I don't know what John Turner's been doing uh, since the Dan Hooker loss, but if he can make the weight, then props on him, but just props in general for uh, accepting this fight and stepping in because this is also an exciting fight. And it's an interesting one because, yeah, Bobby Green's had uh, time to train for it. He's been training, but he's been training for Dan Hooker, who was also a tall guy because Dan Hooker's like 5'11", I believe. But then you got John Turner, 6'3", a long, lanky dude. He has power, which is from the weight thing. He has submissions. He submitted, uh, oh, my God, was it Brad Riddell? I think that's, yeah, from uh, Dan Hooker's team or Israel Adesanya's team, that uh, city kickboxing team. So he's got a lot of factored uh, so he's got all these factors that are make him dangerous in that. The main thing I think is cardio, because this guy, obviously, if you're cutting weight, your cardio, your gas tank isn't going to be the best. But when you're cutting that much weight, and especially on a short notice, that means he's got a limited window. And uh, my, but my main thing is, I think John Turner can win this fight. I know he's on a bad run right now. He lo- he's on a two fight losing streak, I believe. One against Mateusz Gamrot, who uh, people I know people are trying to trash on Mate uh, for Gamrot for uh, basically they thought it was a robbery, and I for the most part I didn't say robbery. I thought Jolly won, but it was a very close fight. No, Jolly Turner should not have made that fight uh, that close because Gamrot accepted that fight on short notice. So I didn't really. I was more like, man, okay, Gamrot won. I mean, he accepted the fight on short notice. Good for him. And then he loses to Dan Hooker, in my opinion, pretty clearly. It was a close fight, but still Dan Hooker won those fights, did that. So, yeah, he's had a bad run of form right recently. But I think against Bobby Green, who Bobby Green can also just KO him. Because I think when you cut that much weight, you're more likely to get KO'd and shinned and all that stuff. But I also think it's really dependent for Bobby Green on his style of fighting, which is like people coming in or just... I guess brawling with people does not lean himself towards John Turner. Cause John Turner is so tall. He's very good at countering doing all the stuff, leading it, basically just picking away at you as he's laying strikes. And then when he sees an opening, he will uh, choke you out or just KO you. And I don't know, Bobby green would have to basically just rush in and throw strikes just to try and finish him. Just to uh, basically minimize that, uh, distance and long range. Basically, if you can get in close, 
you can minimize the effectiveness of Jolly Turner. That's what that's just textbook what, what you're supposed to do. If you're a shorter opponent, especially this much shorter, that's what you're supposed to do. But that kind of fits into what John Turner does because that's what Brad Riddell tried doing, if I remember correctly. And he got like guillotined or something and just put to sleep. That's not a that's not something you're gonna wanna see. And then you also gotta realize that that's probably what John Turner's preparing for. That's kind of something he's had to prepare for his entire career being that I don't think he's ever fought someone that's the same height or taller than him. Like I can guarantee that. And I don't even think, has he, I, he may, might have fought at welterweight at one point. I'm not sure. I think John Turner just, I believe, he, yeah, he's a younger dude. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's most, he's most likely going to miss away in my opinion. And I'm not going to fault him for that uh, because just in general, if this was like a full training camp and he missed weight, then you're going to fault him. But this is like a week and a couple days notice. It's not a lot of time in general for most people, but for him especially. But I think he can still win. But if it goes past the first round and then most of the second round, I I would then start putting money on uh, Bobby Green to win or at least knock him down and make it even more competitive or probably finish him, honestly. But, yeah, no. I think this fight is still like, going to be exciting because I was excited for the Dan Hooker versus Bobby Green fight. But this fight isn't bad either. It just kind of sucks that it's a short notice fight. And if uh, John Turner loses this fight, he might get cut because that's three fights in a row he loses. And in one of those losses, he missed weight. So this fight can be really exciting or it can be, uh, I mean, it's going to be exciting in my opinion. I think that's a guarantee. But really, this could be the make or break for John Turner. But this also might guarantee him because if it was like, hey, if he just took a full camp and lost another fight, he's cut. But since he accepted this fight on short notice, he's getting paid a lot more. And they might be like, well, normally we would cut you because it's three losses in a row. But you lost to a guy in the top 15 and on short notice, and you did us a big favor. We're going to give you a guarantee. I think that might be his main thing. Also, just getting paid and a chance just to fight again and hopefully get a win. But I think he won't. I, he might not get cut because he's accepting his fight on short notice. That isn't really something the UFC does. They don't really cut fighters for accepting a fight on short notice. They kind of... Uh, reward you for doing that so i i see john turner he i think he's gonna win this fight but even if he doesn't he's still gonna have at least one more fight in the ufc i think that's a guarantee but yeah no that's about it uh bye